The fourth Winter Olympic Games took place in 1936 in Garmisch-Partenkirchen, Germany's second Olympic event of the year. 75 years later, an exhibition called The Flip Side of the Medal attempts to illustrate the influence Hitler's regime exerted on the event, perverting sport by the usage of propaganda. The International Olympic Committee proved persistently blind to all the signs of rising terror in Nazi Germany, and in 1939 gave Garmisch-Partenkirchen its second games in a row for the following year. Das war eigentlich unvorstellbar, denn 1939, als die it was unimaginable because in 1939, when the games were attributed for a second time to Garmisch-Partenkirchen by the IOC, the IOC must have already known with whom they were dealing. Only three months earlier, the Nazis entered Czechoslovakia. They knew that on the 9th of November 1938, the Jews in Germany were persecuted during Kristallnacht. So it's completely stunning that in June of 1939, the games were attributed for a second time to Germany. I myself and many others do as well conclude that this is explained by the fact that the high-ranking Olympic officials were Nazi sympathizers. The games were finally cancelled due to the outbreak of the Second World War. It is these two perspectives of the Olympic Winter Games 1936, the athletic and organizational fascination of the games and their function as a cover for a brutal dictatorship, that are outlined in the exhibition Olympic Games 1936, the other side of the medal, which can be seen at Garmisch-Partenkirchen, Germany, in the Kurhaus in the World Championships Park until May the 1st.